Walter in New Jersey is, how early is too early to clean for Pesach? Don't ask your wife. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the woman's nightmare is cleaning for Pesach. Well, let me, let me say some words about that. That it's really the women go overboard cleaning for Pesach. And by the time it comes to Pesach, the time it's Seder night, they're so knocked out, exhausted, they can't enjoy the Seder even. They're falling asleep and they can't enjoy it. So the truth of the matter is the most of the work that's done for Pesach, again, most of it is not necessary. The women do spring cleaning and they start cleaning the beds and the mattresses and the attic and the cellar and it's not necessary. You have to know what is necessary is where there's real chametz, and that's why you have to clean. But not knock, knock yourself out and do spring cleaning and spring everything. It says not right. It's not, it's not right. It's not necessary. And it's really overburdensome. And there's no reason for it. You have to you you place the kitchen, your dining room, place where chametz goes. So that's where you clean out. You have to go clean under closets and things like that. It's not necessary. So it's really... Uh, so therefore... Instead of starting, some people start cleaning Hanukkah time. Uh, I, I, I think it's a joke. It's true. It's true. Some people, some people start cleaning. Of course, people have young ch- kids running around and so on. So that you have to uh, be more a little more careful about, and uh, but not to uh, overdo it. You have to, you have to be practical, and not uh, overburden yourself. You come to the seder by not should be fully. I once uh, spoke to a group, a group of women. Yeah, well, yeah, really. But then probably you have to start... Okay, but it, the main thing is not to be overburdened when it comes to Pesach. So I, I spoke to a group of women a few, a few years ago, and, I, and uh, I told to them that my strong advice is that every woman should take a nap air of Pesach for one hour and go to sleep and tell the kids to tell whoever's there that they're not available for an hour. And they get a good nap for before place before the seder to be able to stay up for the seder. So, I am yeah. so glad that you yeah. said that. It's a yeah. f- you're the first rabbi I ever heard say that. Oh yeah. Oh. Yes, okay. and I have a friend who takes Q-tips and goes with the Q-tips into every corner of the house. It's just like if everybody had to do it, they would go crazy. And there and who puts Chumitz in those places, she does empty out the pockets of the clothing because sometimes you do oh, yeah, stick crumbs, something in the uh, pockets, a piece of candy or something. Yeah. So that makes sense. But I also read a book last year about a woman who was supposed to go to a Seder with her family and they got caught in traffic and they could not make the Seder, but they had to come home. And she called her rabbi and he told her, how to clean the house for Passover in 12 hours. And he said, concentrate on the kitchen where the food is, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Well, so I just want to say that's, that's in... very practical what you yeah, said, yeah. and yeah. I'm glad you said it. Okay. But make sure to take a nap an hour before. That's very important. Very important to do that. <laughs>